Hello everyone, we are finally into the round of 16 of the StarCast TV Star League. Of course, I am Niokin, and this time joining me is the one and only machine. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for having me, Dan. This is uh, going to be an exciting one today. First time for me to cast in uh, StarCast Star League, but uh, man, we got a, a doozy of a couple uh, matches here today. First one is going to be Rush versus Sins. This is going to be a pretty epic game. You know, Rush is very good in Sins. <laughs> he can, you know, pull out all different types of builds. I mean, he's had a wild build versus Effort a long time ago on Eclipse. He walked a Reaver across the map. I didn't know what the heck I was watching. <laughs> so whenever you see Sins play, you know he's going to have some special builds planned. We've got a look at the bracket of Starcast. Star of the StarCast Star League. We've got a lot of good players remaining in the round of 16. Rush Sins, Cop Soma, Best Action. You know, Best in Action have had a lot of history in recent ASLs. They've had amazing games. So I'm looking Absolutely. forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Action, one of my favorite Zergs of all time. Best, you know, needs no introduction. Incredible Protoss player. Look at this, though. We got Snow, Light, JYJ, Mini, Barracks, pretty much the who's who uh, in the scene at the moment. If you take away the Starcast TV logo and like like you just like hide it and you're <laughs> like asking me like what tournament is this, I would 100% say it's ASL. Right? Yeah, because everybody here is ASL level. Pretty much, man. I mean, speaking of ASL, Rush just you know was a top four in the previous season of ASL, so that's kind of the quality of games we're gonna get to to witness today, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking very forward to the games. I think even though Sins is clearly the underdog, with these crazy maps, which you're seeing right here, Jungle Story Jungle 2. Jungle Story 2. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're reading that correctly. That's like a 2004 WCG map. It's been remastered, so it's a little different. But I remember that map back in the days. Like, you've got, like, cliffs. I can't remember if you can cliff your main, but it's, it's weird. Yeah, I, I believe it, man. Like, anytime you're able to kind of use those cliffs, and maybe that's something Sins has been practicing for in order to get an edge against Rush, right? It's a big, big advantage if you actually put some time into these uh, unique maps going into these series, you know. So, yeah, it should be, should be an exciting one. Going to be a best of three. Looks like the entire, uh, you know, round of 16 going to be best of threes between all these players before we get into... Uh, best of five series and beyond uh, so could it come down to rush or sins taking two of these maps somehow to pull this one out and Cruz telling us that players are ready to go so let's just get into the games and see if we can see a big upset from sins it's gonna be a tough one for him because rush well known for his tvp let's get into game one Okay, in the top right, in his ends. And spawning at the bottom left side of Polypoid as the White Terran, we have Rush. Yeah, so Cruiser was telling me that actually the first, uh, the first map and the third map was picked by Rush. Second map was Jungle Story, so that was picked by Sin. So that means that he must have something planned. And you know, I even though I do remember there being you know, ledges and cliffs and stuff like that. If Rush goes for something like a drop and Sins just insta hard counters it, you know, drop is a big commitment from Terran. So that could be uh, an easy map for Sins if he just shuts down or mind games Rush really hard. Yeah, it could happen too. You always think drop is uh, usually a little more common in these positions. Not that either player knows exactly where their opponent is quite yet, but, you know, big map, polypoid, big distance might try to you know get some scouting information a little bit of damage done with an early vulture drop or something like that um you know from sins i'd love to see a 12 nexus i know you'd love to see a 12 nexus but doesn't look like we're gonna see it here it's gonna just yeah. be a standard gateway inside the main nothing abnormal here and now i i haven't you know watched that many games of sins but just based on what i remember from sins i've feel like even though we haven't seen anything unusual probably we're going to be seeing some rallied zealots and because there's no gas just yet that means to me that it's going to be at least one because gas should have gone down and look at this rush 
no gas either. So it's going to be gasless expand from Rush. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be gasless expand from Protoss here. That's kind of an unusual opener, but oh, well, maybe Zealot can actually get damage done because look how far away that Rax is. Not a lot of area to Sim City with. At the same time, big, big distance between these two mains yeah. cross map. You know, it's it's not necessarily going to be easy. It's always going to be down to the wire, especially between, you know, two closely ranked, closely matched players like this. But, you know, there there is potential for an opening here. Yeah, well, I can tell you that if Sin's new, Rush was bottom left, he would definitely not be going for this, this Zealot. He's going to, unfortunately, not find Rush bottom right. Which means he's probably sending the Zealot to top left, and I, I can't imagine it doing damage. But as I say that, actually, there's still no Zealot out for Sins. And, you know, I, I really thought it was coming, but I kept looking at the supply. I'm like, that doesn't look like Zealot type of supply. So this is a, a weird gas timing from him. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted to optimize his, his minerals a little bit better and go for a faster expansion. Ooh. Yeah, I, I guess so. That's kind of the read and maybe the reference. But yeah, you as soon as you saw that gas time, you were certain it was yeah. uh, going to be a Zealot Oper. But in fact, it does look like it's going to be 19 Nexus. Actually, not a bad call given the current situation. He still has no idea Rush opened with this gasless. Uh, but, you know, as soon as this Dragoon makes its way across the map, he should. Actually, Scouting Probe moving into the natural here. Oh, going to get pushed off by a Marine, so he actually still does not know. He will need to wait for this Dragoon. Yeah, and anytime you can push that probe back and you're going for a Gasless Expand, oh, you're feeling great. But, yeah, this 19 Nexus, you know, I've been seeing it more and more these days. It used to be, what, like 23 Nexus, then we've seen 21 Nexus. Now Protoss has realized, like, hey, well, what's Terran going to actually attack, with, attack you with in the early game? Marines? Unless you're getting BBS. Who really cares, right? So you can skip the goon for a long time, really prioritize your income more, get that nexus up, and actually this 19 nexus is going to work out quite well because it's going to limit the SCV advantage that Rush is going to get instead of it being up like five, maybe he'll be at maybe just three or something. Yeah, if that looks like only two SCVs and one's about to fall. So yeah, yeah, uh, very well done here from Sin so far. Wow, that's a fast robo too. I feel like Sins is playing this very, uh, very good, given the position. Well, he saw he didn't get scouted. What what can Terran really do about it? Not much. Terran's all-in capabilities are kind of limited to BBS in the center. I guess you could technically say two-fact can work, but in my experience with two-facts, not great. Also, you're playing a pro who, I mean, what's the likelihood Rush is going to two-fact you? I think one out of a thousand is maybe an accurate prediction. It's yeah. definitely, you know, not one out of ten or one out of a hundred. I mean, it just never happens. And we were talking about Starport play potentially coming out on Jungle Story, but this is Starport from Rush on Polypoid. And actually, this is one of his bread and butter builds, Starport into Five Fact. Yeah, not not bad, right? You're able to get at least some early pressure with the Vulture drop, scouting info, and then with that early Starport, you can kind of eventually, you know, tech into your 2-1 timing, which is... Uh, pretty ideal for Terran, so I I, I kind of like the call so far here from Rush. Kalsins has a scouting pylon at mid right. I'm sure he'll put one somewhere, either top middle or on the left side of his base. Uh, and you know, Vulture Drop, it can be hit or miss. You can do a lot of damage for sure as they two shot the workers, but at the same time, it could get no damage done. And with an opener like this, where you've gone 19 Nexus and your econ is already pretty good. Uh, this could backfire, so... Yeah, I I really like just the scouting info Sins is getting here. Like, look at these pylons, you know, mid-right, between the natural and mid-right. Uh, 12 o'clock, the, the, you know, mineral only. I, you know, I feel like this is a pretty ideal given Rush's opener here. This almost feels like a read from Sins. Uh, like I was saying, this is a pretty common build for Rush, so it, it makes sense to see this from Sins, but uh, he's got vision pretty much everywhere. Top mid, I mean, if Rush was to split the gap here, it would be an absolute miracle to get into the main without vision. It would be heartbreaking for Protoss fans, of course, because that should never happen. Now, look at this. We've actually got a counterplay. If there's no siege, 
and this is just an A move into the bunker, the bunker is going to insta die, and there's just going to be one tank for defense. But because Sin sees this, he's kind uh... of thinking like, well, you must have something. There must be a drop coming. Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. And he pushes back, actually splits the Dragoon Force, and might catch this dropship here. It he did get scouted. It. Yeah. This does not look like it's going to end up doing any damage. Yep, oh, he's it... going back in, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my man. gosh. And, of course, those goons that were in the center of the map are out of position. He's going to get in here now. These vultures, I don't think, have mines. So these are literally just suiciding in, trying to get as many probes as possible. At this point, this is all you can really do is tear it in. That's good, really good defense. Pylon blocks, he lost one probe. That's amazing. Yeah, really not bad here. Still, given this was scouted from so far away, Rush still managing to find damage, managing to find her some harass and pulling Sins off the map. Because you were right. When Sins was like moving out with his you know, 10, 12 Dragoons, there was a single siege tank with no siege mode in the main. It really looked like Rush could have been in a little bit of trouble there, but um, yeah. still managing to, to find some, some damage despite it all. Yeah, you know, I, I really did think he was just going to attack into it. You know, if it was Gosu Dark, 100%, we're not turning around. We're just <laughs> we're just going for the kill. But I like the response from Sins. As I was saying, drop is a big commitment. When you see the drop and it doesn't do much damage, best follow-up a lot of the times is Nexus, baby, and that's exactly what he's done. He's really ramping up his econ. But we got the six-fact follow-up from Rush. So this is going to be a really strong push. Hmm. I'm not sure if the Observer has seen these, uh, the six facts quite yet. He might, he, he probably expects it though. This is just, this is a really common follow up from, from Rush. I, I've watched enough games to know that he loves this move. I, I don't think I've seen him do six fact, but five fact, it, it's quite, uh, quite often. And we do actually have Stargates from Sins. I don't know what triggered this. This seems excessive, because I don't know how you're holding this. I guess his observer, like you said, never got in, so he doesn't know what this is. But having seen enough rush games, I feel like you gotta know at least it's gonna be, it's gonna at least be five fact. Ooh, dropship loading up once again, moving into the main here. We'll see if Sins is prepared. Looks like Dragoon Force moving into position here. Yeah, he should be able to hold this. Yeah, I don't, oh, yeah, but I don't even think this was intended to do much damage. I think this was just scouting. Uh, and now when the well, dropship gets in here, <laughs> yes, it's going to do damage now. But what what I mean is, because yeah. he doesn't have an academy, he needs to get some vision. He needs to get some uh, intel on what's what he's doing. Because if he can push this, he's going to push it, and he knows he can push it. So here he comes. Yeah, observer does see the moving tanks uh, out in the center of the map. Looks like Sin's trying to get in position. No zealot legs quite yet, but actually the zealots are on the, the, the main force of these siege tanks and he's able to get all over this from Rush. What are we watching? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Like, <laughs> I realize tanks are pretty good, but dude, we're 10 minutes into the game and this guy's got, you know, a billion goons at this point. The fact that he didn't have his vultures like in a safe spot uh, really hurt him because there's nothing to kill the zealots. The goons just have free reign over that entire oh. attack, and this is, you know, carrier follow-up. Yeah, three Stargate carrier. And, I mean, if I'm Sins, I'm taking that mineral only. I'm thinking about taking 12 o'clock after stopping that many tanks. Like, oh, still, though, Rush just continuing to find damage here when you least expect it. And, I mean, this is the kind of damage he needs to stay in this game. Yeah, he has to make a move like this, because if he just sits there, he's going to just die to the carriers. Now I don't know about pushing uh, yeah. with tanks, but <laughs> I, don't I don't know about pushing with tanks, but pushing with vultures, yeah, you you've got to go for that trade. Yeah, Sins needs to just tighten up these defenses, like prevent any more uh, run bys mid right, and start building this carrier count up. And there we go, Stargates are blinking. So I mean, if you're Rush, you know this is coming. Like you're gonna need to start really building up your Goliath count, getting Goliath range, or Sins is going to run away with this game. Well, somehow, despite losing that army, mid-left didn't get denied. So Rush is going to be able to get that third base pretty easily. It has a third gas, which is crucial for him, and you need the gas desperately. You can't, I don't think he can win if he just takes the mineral only. 
So that's a really good follow-up from him. And because this was, you know, Stargates after three Nexus, carriers aren't out on the field, you know, for like two more minutes. So there's gonna be a lot of time for Rush to get his base up and running, get his macro rolling. And he already has six factories, so he's already got all of the production he really needs. So I think Rush is still in it despite being down supply. He's moving out again now. Can... I mean, he's a maniac. I don't, I don't know how this can can work because because Sens didn't lose any supply really on the first attack. Now I do notice the Zealots have no speed, so they're basically dead supply. But there's still a ton of goons. Yeah, first two tanks being targeted down immediately. A third one as well. Ah, that's a lot of blue. I guess when you have like two zealots to get in on top of the tanks, and then all that's left over is pure goon. Well, if you've got even just seven, eight tanks, they're gonna rack up a lot of kills. And now Rush, he's very close to breaching this mineral only. I'd love to see a shuttle with just slow zealots oh, yeah. in it right now. But here we go. Sins might actually still have the unit count he needs to hold this. Good siege tank splash though. Good focusing from Rush. And Rush relentlessly moving in here. Goliath's just in time to greet the first two carriers. Yep. And the carriers, since they just popped out, I don't even think they have any. No! You can't lose that, man. You, you cannot yeah, you lose, cannot those lose those that. Carriers. No way. Is he going to kill this carrier? <laughs> oh my gosh. Six HP. That is not the 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 wake up you want as a carrier here. Yeah, uh, that might have been the freest carrier I've seen in a long time. Like that just doesn't happen. Terrans have a, a really struggle to kill carriers, but that was an absolute gift. I would love to see Sins build a battery because you know, the 300 shields. That's a big that's a big amount of uh, of health to get through that a, uh, that a Goliath has to go through. So I would hope he heals that up. Uh, one he needs thing to pull that carrier back, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it needs pull to it be back. the back of the force. Oh, man. Yeah, and what Cruiser's showing right here is, despite Rush, you know, being in Sins's face for the past few minutes, he's nailed his upgrades. Like because this is gasless, he can afford the upgrades while being in your face while expanding. Uh, he's really crushing it, and supplies are now within 15. Carrier count is not scary; just three with a dangerously low carrier. Like Terran's fine. Yeah, somehow, despite the, the start rush, I mean, he's definitely still in the driver's seat in this one, it feels like. Looks like he's going to move up towards top left. If, if you're Sins, you need to take bottom right or start thinking about 12 o'clock at this point. Well, I hope Sins is thinking about getting speed on his zealots because yeah. these zealots <laughs> are beyond useless if they don't have speed. Like, I, I still don't see speed. I, I don't see many zealots, so I guess if you're not going to build zealots, it doesn't matter. But you really got to get that upgrade. Now, I think those carriers at top left got spotted by a mine or something. Uh, but we don't see any Goliaths moving over there, so these five carriers could be a nuisance. Yeah, once again, that lead carrier is very weak. So, I mean, Rush just needs to breathe on it, and it's probably going to fall yeah. here. I don't think this command center is going to die, but uh, we've got Goliaths in the back. But if if these Goliaths get stuck here with ground coming in through the back Ooh. side, he may lose all of his Goliaths. He might get one carrier, but if you lose all your Goliaths, that's not worth. Yeah, definitely not. Small goon force attacking the mineral only as well. Kind of a bizarre little split up here from Sins. Yeah, that completely gets melted. And now it looks like Rush going to counter with his... Uh, the bulk of his uh, vulture tank for us. Yeah, this is going to get weird. <laughs> Both sides feel like they've cornered the army, but it's actually going to be Sims getting his army cornered. The real question now is, is there enough carriers to reign supreme? He already has plus two weapons, so they hit really hard, but there goes one of the carriers. But look at this. The tanks on the top side get intercepted by carriers. Hello, you can't hit up. And now we've got goons attacking the mid left versus just Goliath. I mean, this is what Sins needs to get a good trade here. These tanks will not be able to obviously shoot the carriers. Still slow zealots. I got to point it out. Man, he's got to click that button. <laughs> but yeah. carriers getting a good amount of kills here. And he's kind of stifled the mining of the major remaining base here for Rush. A lot of SCVs did fall during that fight. Yeah, Sins did some big damage right there, but he also lost a lot. But look at this, he's just all over the place. He's like, well, you can't be at mid left and at the mineral only, so I'll just take that out. These two, th actually four carriers, are still alive. This is panic mode for for Rush. He may end up finally cornering these carriers 
but he's lost a lot. That's going to be a dead base. Goodbye. He didn't even respond. He didn't even realize. I think the mineral only was going down. Still, though, these carrier rallies, man, this guy stop. <laughs> he's just yeah. losing carrier after carrier when he should just keep his, uh, you know, massive force of carriers. If he had seven carriers right now instead of this four, this is probably game over. Yeah, but I'm not even sure if it matters because Rush, remember, he gas us expanded. He's mined out in his main. He's going to be mined out in his natural in a second. Then he's going to be one base mining, yes, with 40 SCVs, but that's massive oversaturation. Meanwhile, Sins, he's still on at least two base, right? He's got his mineral only. Yep. He's got mid right. Yeah, he, he honestly could probably start working to take 12 o'clock at the same time. If you're Sins, you should just back up. Like, you have no reason to pressure, it feels like, anymore. Just hang on to your bases, take another one, and wait for Rush to throw into you, because Rush kind of has to. I think I think what Sins wants to do is make sure that he doesn't let Terran get critical mass while camping on 3-2 upgrades. It's actually, I actually think Sins just constantly go to mid-left. Like, defending mid-left as a Terran is really hard, because, you know, you're funneling up that ramp, Yes, you have high ground if the units are still on low ground, but he's got to build so many Goliaths. How big can his tank count be? I mean, I do recognize I see like eight tanks, which is pretty high, but you're a max Protoss versus eight tanks. Like, that's not very many. This could be the game ending move. It really could be. Terran set up on the low ground. We do have that Zealot legs finally here. Ooh, a couple interceptors just being evaporated there, though. Doesn't look like Sins is feeling quite ready to engage, but the carrier count's good. It's at seven, uh, always yeah. a, a daunting amount of carriers to face. Yeah, so even though we know that it's max versus 140, of course, Sins doesn't know that. And any time a Terran is across the map in siege mode, you would imagine he must have a high supply, right? But I think if Sins knew this is 140, I think he's going to try and go for the killing blow. But he is going to be back off. I think he got one or two more carriers out, so it puts him at like eight or nine. And we still just have posturing back and forth here. He is taking 12 o'clock, um, is Sins. No no Templar tech yet. I'd love to see, you know, a couple uh, high Templars in these fights just to storm the Goliaths. I think it would be a big difference maker. Um, and likely something Sins will be going for next. If we got the probe transfer to the top middle, that's going to be three full bases mining for Sin. But look at this, Rush has lifted his main command center actually to his, his mineral only. So he's now back on two base mining, which now, you know, two base, not exactly the strongest for Terran, but definitely not weak. You gotta be really respect this army. This is a three, two army, like, this is huge. Yeah, somehow Rush controlling that high ground, uh, despite the maxed army of Sin's and it looks like he's maybe pushing to 12 o'clock? I think. Well, I don't know. The carrier count is really high. I was going to say I think Sin's best move is to counter. But if he counters, he's going to sack 12. Ooh. So I don't know. And Rush I think he can't counter here. I think he's going to catch him a little bit. Yeah, but it could also be a big mistake because the ground army of Protoss is not upgraded, whereas Terran is massively upgraded. Now, these Goliaths are way too far forward. The Zealots are going to do a lot of damage here. The tanks are so far back, they haven't gotten off a single hit yet. Supplies have plummeted for for Rush here. Tanks are getting picked off by the carriers. Zealots are still on top of the Goliaths, but now he gets pushed back. But Terran's now down at 120 supply versus a still maxed Protoss army. Yeah, that was about the dream engagement that Sins could hope for. He's also in position to once again tear down this mineral only, and all Rush can do is pursue. He has to follow this army. Yeah, because if, if Protoss just goes to your main, well, what are you going to do? You're going to base trade? I don't know, think that's going to work. We do have Rush pushing this back with just 100 supply, but how much longer? <laughs> He's got an 80 supply lead, man. Okay, this is yeah, I know. How, how, how much longer can you push it back when you're down this so much supply? I'm actually surprised that we don't see Sins going to the bottom with his carriers and just go kill the factories. Like, you know where the army is. He can't be in the main. He can't get back that quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised as well. I think you're right. If he just continues to counter, 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 I don't know if Rush really has an answer. I don't, I don't think there is an answer. I think the, the, the carrier count is too ridiculous. Hopefully, Sins has armor on his carriers. 
He oh, doesn't, makes... last I checked. Yeah, no I, armor? That was the one thing. Yeah, I think he's missing air armor a little bit. Well, uh, we got a... Oh, yeah, yeah, no armor. Well, we've got a small attack to mid-left, but how much actual defense is there for Rush over there? It seems like his entire army is right here. Yeah, there, there's not been much. I gotta say, Rush has really not been preparing for the counters. And actually, a GG coming out of Rush for game one? What? Okay. I did not think that was how the start of the series was gonna go. <laughs> I didn't think so either, especially after Rush got a gasless expand and he goes he goes drop into six fact. I'm like, well, I've seen this before. A lot of times he just ends the game with it, but Sins had clutch defense versus the push. He went for the carrier, man. He's like, you know what? I know what's the best universe, Darren. Carriers. And despite Rush getting, you know what? What was it? Two or three free carriers? It didn't matter. Yeah, that first carrier just walking in face first, getting targeted down to six HP to, to start the fight. That is not how you would normally want it to go, but uh, I mean, still Sin's just proving to be a little overwhelming here for Rush uh, from the get-go. I'm, uh, man, I, I really, you know, w would think that most folks here would agree Rush likely the favorite in this given matchup, but Sin's uh, already proven to be, uh, you know, a, l a little bit of a problem here for Rush. And now we're in a situation that I was not expecting to be in. This, the way this tournament is set up, there's no loser's bracket. This is just the best of three. And now for Rush, it's the best of one because if he loses here, he's out of it. We also got to consider that, hey, Sins, it's his map pick now and he picked Neo Jungle Story. So he, he's got something planned. So we could actually have an elimination of one of the best Terrans. So let's just get straight into game two and see if Sins can actually do it. So in the top right, we have ten. And in the bottom left, looking for a comeback, it is Rush. And I gotta admit, I haven't seen this map in a very long time. I know it's been remade, but already you can see that there's a bit of intricacies here because we've got a low ground main, so I'm... naturals on high ground, and then... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, I know you love low ground mains as a Terran oh, versus a Protoss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, thinking back to the days of Requiem, absolute nightmare map to play on back then. People didn't know that, hey, you just build a bunker and repair. People just didn't do that. But look at this machine. We've this actually got, well, this is a nightmare. We've got proxy. This is gonna be two gate, I imagine. Yeah, I might as well. It... You know, uh, it looks like he already knows, obviously, where Rush is going to spawn. Two gate versus low ground main. You're already up 1-0 against Rush. Why not, man? Like, why not flip a coin here? Still, I was thinking I, I would have liked to see, like, 10-15 gate, like, good pressure. Good. But, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Double 10, 9 gate. 10-15 on maps like this are, are really strong because... Protoss ends up having like four goons when you have one tank, you don't even have siege mode yet. And if you don't go siege mode, well, how are you going to deal with that? It's a nightmare, but it is the double nine gate that you're talking about. I don't, I don't know how this will fare versus someone like Rush because this was, I think, an 11 gas from Rush. He really does go for a quick vulture play. And we've seen, well, everybody knows that the, the Terran pros at this level, they can micro Marines like a God. So if he can get out of vulture, this will be over, but this is going to hit so fast, we may not even get to that point. Yeah, gas just now finally completing for Rush. The first gateway is completed uh, for Sins, which means our first zealot is likely going to be walking out here shortly. Um, once again, this is low ground main. Rush has no idea this is coming. There's not uh, been like a single SCV scout or anything like that to catch this. Um, so he's going to need to micro his butt off here. Yeah, probe can intercept this and that is a 224 factory that is ridiculous this is like 12 seconds faster than a normal factory timing and that is a huge deal especially versus a build like this so now sins has to be very quick with his zealot probe harass to try and shut down that factory because like i was saying if the if the vulture gets out this is over i think the scv saw the the um, the scouting SCV saw the first zealot walking in, so he should know this is some kind of heavy pressure. Still, no bunker going down, no secondary wall off. It already looks like factory just about to complete. It, I know you noted how fast that was 
Exactly. And, uh, I mean, man, it's it, all it takes is a vulture. Yeah, and by the way, since it's Mega all in with this, not just because of the double gate, but also he's cut to rush his cybernetics. So it seems like this was like a two or three zealot opener into straight goon. Because, you know, if, if it's a situation like this where Terran, yes, they managed to hold on, but they don't have an add-on, they don't have tanks, they just have marine vulture. Like, you can just win the game with three zealots plus two goons. So he is very committed here. Look at his pro count. It's at 10. 10. He's got to win with this move. Yeah, he absolutely has to. I like the vultures and the, the zealot control just constantly trying to hold that ramp, prevent this vulture from getting out and doing any more significant damage. Fourth zealot coming in here, and hopefully we got a couple dragoons on the way. Otherwise, this could be game over. I think it, I think that's a goon coming right now. And Sin's going to uh, rush to be like, what the hell, dude? You, have, you built five zealots and you already have a goon at this point? Think about this. His add-on just finished. So the tank isn't out for 30 more seconds, and hello, there's the goon. I mean, does, is he just going to sit here? Oh, he's going in. He's going for it. Well, he's got to, because if the, if the tank gets out, the tank can get siege and sit behind the bunker. He's targeting down the add-on. Yeah, because he doesn't want it to be siege. If there's siege, he's going to hold it easily. So first tank oh. is out. Oh, but it's trapped. Zillet getting on top of the tank. Very good control here from Rush, moving it to the north side. And, oh, is he going to keep it alive? Nope, tank dies. Yeah but, yeah, but look at the SCV on the ramp. Look at this, the SCV on the ramp. You're not getting in. You're not escaping. You're going to fight me. Ooh, very good control here from Rush. And, yeah, both the Dragoons pop. It looks like Rush is holding. Dude, he is, he's so nasty. In the, in the spur of the moment, who sits there and thinks, like, I need to get an SCV on the ramp? I'd be sitting there panicking, probably throwing <laughs> my throwing my keyboard because I lost my tank. But Rush is like, nope, nope, you overstepped, boy, and now you're going to get punished. And now it's one goon versus the world. And oh. I have a feeling, G oh, he didn't get the add-on. I have a feeling the Faded. GG's coming out in a minute. Yeah, I mean, it was a good try, right? He was very, very close to killing off that add-on. But with that, mines are going to complete. There's just no way to engage up this ramp versus mines marine tank. And, and look at this. What I thought would be Siege, like, if I was him, I would 100 percent gone siege because i would have thought well if i get the tank out and sit behind the bunker i just win but he's thinking like dude you're playing like a maniac you might be going dt so he's going the safe route where if you are going dt i got mine to stop that and i'm not going to die to that follow-up so this was just absolutely ridiculous play from rush and this is the hail mary Oof. one mine connects two mines connect see you later and that means that the gg is going to come out and rush He's going to tie it up, man. Just like that, man. Quick, quick uh, win there from Rush. Still good, uh, you know, good choice, I'd say, from Sins. You're up 1-0 against one of the best Terrans to ever walk the face of the earth. Uh, maybe, you know, try to test your luck a little bit, see if you can get away with a, a simple win. Uh, but still, uh, we are now tied up 1-1, and it's anybody's game uh, with the final map being retro. Yeah, final map is is retro, which is a really good map for Terran. I think that was a really good build from Sins, even though it didn't work out. I can tell you, low lower level Terran would just outright die there. In fact, this is one of those games where I hope people on ladder don't see it, because <laughs> if they do, you know you're gonna face it. And I mean that that was just so mega all in, but it was so much stuff. Like it was a crazy amount of stuff that that Sins had. Like, if he kills the Vulture or he kills a couple Marines, the game's just over. Four Zealot, two Dragoon. What if, you know, that super low HP add-on eventually got targeted down, right? There's no mines. Suddenly, Dragoons continue walking two at a time to a, you know, a, a below ground main. It gets dicey. It could definitely yeah. get dicey. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hats off to Rush, though. That's why he's the best of the best, man. Yeah. So let's get into game three, find out who's going to be making it out. Is it going to be Rush or will Sins move on? Hopefully he's got another crazy build lined up for us. Okay, in the top left, striking back in game two, it is Rush. And in the top right corner as the red Protoss, we got Sins. 
Yeah, already I like Terran's position. Knowing how well the Protoss player or the Terran player's macro, I don't see how you're gonna stop a push from from Rush. He's just gonna get up to that high ground. You know, if he gets up there, he's gonna have high ground advantage and then be attacking the low ground. And I guess what's this? Yeah, Sins is like, well, I messed up last time, so let's try again <laughs> with a potential double gate in the center. No, oh man, this is not how I wanted this one to go. I, I mean, it could work, right? But it's, you know, I would say a worse situation to be in than the previous game, right? This is a standard main, high ground main. Uh, Rush is going to be all over blocking that ramp. We saw the cute SCV control uh, that he had last time to, you know, prevent the retreat of a couple remaining Dragoons in the main. He's going to do that stuff you know, without even thinking. Uh, so I, I I think this is going to be a little bit of an uphill battle here for Sins. Well, at the same time, you got to be thinking from Rush's perspective, well, what's the likelihood that this guy does this type of move again? <laughs> I would say pretty low. And actually, I, I, I actually thought this could be a high percentage that this is gas a six man, but instead it's literally the same build. It's another 11 gas. It's the racks right next to the command center. If you remember on Polypoid, he built it towards the, it's the ramp. Yep. If, if that was where the racks was placed, I think Sins outright wins the game. But because we just saw this, and like you said, this map being way better positionally or, or t in terms of terrain, uh, yeah, this yep. feels like another just outright counter from Rush. <laughs> counter? It's funny saying counter when you just you know, you have proper, like, building placement yeah. and wall in the main, but you're right. It is kind of a counter. Oh, man. Yeah, these Terrans are just too good nowadays, man. They don't take risks, because why do you have to? And, I mean, the Marine control at this level is just unbelievable, right? They're not going to misstep. They're not going to take free damage from a single Zealot and a probe walking in. Uh, and here we go. Rush going to see the first zealot walking in. Yep, and he's probably thinking like this again, man. <laughs> Didn't I just stop you a minute ago? And now you dare to step here again? <laughs> well, well, I'll show you again that it wasn't a fluke. Brace yourself, fool. <laughs> yeah, brace yourself. <laughs> and I, I think this is the same build because, again, the probe count is extremely low. He's got his gas going. Cybernetics is coming. This is literally identical, except now Rush has the ramp. Oh, factory will be delayed this time, though. Not quite done. One SCV has fallen already, but once again, the, the control, the Marine control is just insane. Uh, actually, I say that. Another SCV falls. Factory, once again, still delayed. And yeah, actually, things are getting a little dicey here. In yep. Th this is what Sins wanted on, on Jungle Story. Because now, because then he wouldn't have to deal with going into high ground. But this is... This is one of the problems of facing a, a two gate. Oh my gosh, he actually caught the Marine. He gets one, oh, gets two of them. Oh, second one. Whoa. SCB oh, died again. Whoa. There is no factory completed. Okay, oh. now he's, yeah, but now we're seeing how the build was uh, supposed to unfold. There's gonna be goons pretty soon. There may actually be one coming. No, I think that's too slow to be a goon, but this is so many zealots. Yeah, five zealots now into the main. And as you said, we know there's gonna be goons on the way eventually. Sin's doing a great job splitting this. this zealot force and pulling Rush apart here. Add-on starting to get focused down here by two healthy zealots, while three harass the top mineral line. Uh, but I mean, this vulture, I mean, th this is kind of built to kill off this many zealots at this point. Yeah, but look how, look how exposed the add-on is in the factory. There's goons here. What do you attack with, marine vulture? The, the, the goons don't take damage to those units. One zealot falls. Every zealot that dies is critical. Is this a tank on the way, you yeah, think, a, from Rush? It has to be a tank. It can't be a vulture. What else could it be? Nothing's going to kill the goons. What's, oh, my. It, he could also set up the zealots in a concave, so if the tank pops out, yes. he gets insta-surrounded. Rush kinda... realized he's got to go right now. Ooh, oh, dragoons. He's, he's not doing it. Dragoon's dragoons shields out. have been burned off. Yeah, but two can get out. Yeah, the tank's gonna get out. Still, the Zell's doing a great job tanking uh, for these Marines, but oh no, the SCV once again, Nyokin, blocks the ramp, oh. and the two Dragoons uh, get.
get trapped in here, and Rush might just barely hold here. Dude, they can they can see everything. This game, after Sins realized he was gonna get the add-on, I wish he had gone DT, but I don't see enough buildings in his main for it to be DT. I don't see Is enough that, probes. Oh, it's oh. No, it's too late, man. It's too late. I wish that was faster because without the mines, that could have been an insta win for him. Uh, why did probes get pulled? Okay, I'd... maybe he was doing planning a probe timing or something. I don't know no. what that was. But <laughs> I, think, I think he saw the vulture get out on the map, and he's like, "Oh snap! I better hold my ramp because you know everything he has is proxy. He can't hold his ramp." Well, Can Rush we... still sitting on the high ground here. Yeah, has this a tank. Is, this is is that an eBay? <laughs> he knows no he fucking knows every... way. He, made he knows eBay. everything. I can't believe that. I would not have made eBay here. I would have been like, I need a second factory. There's dragoons bearing down on my neck. But wow, once again, Rush is making the right call. Yep, an SCV on hold position there was the clutch move, prevent the goons getting on top of the units. Now Sins is going to try and transition out of this. You know, I see him building some more, some more probes, but it's too late to transition. Your mega all in didn't work. Now your follow up all in is not going to work unless there's some type of miracle that either kills the turrets or you get the DT in. Yeah, Rush could accidentally kill his own siege tanks or something. Yeah. Uh, maybe, actually, I could see the DT walking up the ramp to two siege tanks and then the tank's only getting a, a shot off. Or, ah, never mind, there's a third tank. Yeah, this, I don't know what uh, Sins is going to be able to do here. Yeah, it would have been possible if Sins had kept some zealots or goons left over and just have them soak up the first hit, but I feel like, well, I guess the DTs now can hold the low ground and deny the command center, because I don't think the second turret will be up. Yeah, the second turret's not going to be up, so this is going to be annoying. The game should at least prog- Oh, maybe! Oh, I thought he was going to run by. Is he going to run by? No! Oh, man. Close. But no cigar. No cigar there, and imagine if the goons or zealots took those first hits. Those two DTs could have gotten in. Yeah, and you might as well, right? You're full committed with this. You, you kind of just need to throw everything in there. If the two dragoons just died just to get a single DT in the main, suddenly maybe Rush is, you know, in some trouble. But then, what are you doing? You, yeah, he knows there's a turret up there with a bunch of tanks. He's got to stop doing that, <laughs> for sure. It's not gonna work. And you know, being Terran, you don't have to take your base on location, build in the maiden, float it down now. And I think Second Factory finally has come down for Rush. I'm sure Academy is gonna be coming down pretty soon. So he will eventually be able to get the yeah, Academy is basically done. So he's gonna get this. And look at that, maximum range there, gonna take down that turret. Oh, he shot his own turret to try and get it, but the splash damage doesn't go that direction, so the DT ends up surviving. Hmm. Just barely. It looks like he burned off some shields and stuff, but... Nice job by Sins to try to delay and pull this game back. He's got a Nexus, uh, obviously, that is natural on the way. Looks like that's about to complete. Probe count uh, is finally higher than SCV count for the first time in this game. Yeah, this is actually a manageable position for Sins. Yes, he has his two gates proxied in the center of the map, which is an issue, but having a faster Nexus, having, you know, his tech actually up, where he's got Citadel, Templar Archive, and Robodon, you know, he doesn't have to build those anymore. So this is actually manageable. I could see him coming back here and, you know, actually getting to late game. He's going support bay instead of maybe try, trying to go for like a DT drop or a DT or storm drop, actually. Yeah, not sure whether that's going to be the storm drop or reaver, but we got an annoying DT. There's a second scan, but the... Okay, luckily there's not a third or fourth DT, because if there was a third or fourth DT, this command center just uh, floats in the air uh, for a few more seconds. Yeah, he could uh, use it to delay quite a bit here. Still though, Rush finally uh, able to make some space on the map, scouting out with a vulture, and able to get his command center up at his natural here. 
And actually, being up eight, eight workers is a huge freaking deal, man. I don't think Rush can push with just, what is it, two factories right now? Maybe be, maybe three? Okay, maybe he can. He does have seven tanks. That's, that's a lot, especially when you know the gateways are proxied. But he doesn't know that there's a Reaver here. If he blindly moves up this ramp, which he is, and the Reaver gets into position, that could deal a lot of damage. He'd have to see it coming, though. And uh -oh. here we go. Ooh, shuttle does get scouted. Immediately pulls back. He's starting to get ready with this Reaver to defend this timing. But that is a lot of tanks here from Rush. Ooh, Reaver immediately getting focused. Oh, he good. Gets a lot of, he gets a lot of damage on those tanks, but the problem is there's just no support. Also, those goons don't have range, by the way. So they are basically the same as those zealots on Polypoid without speed. They are beyond useless. Man, that was insane control by Rush. Every yeah. single time a Scarab got shot, the tank that it was focusing was being pulled back three times in a row. Although the Reaver's getting plenty of shots off and damage, nothing died. Yeah, he repaired the tanks too much. <laughs> so these are healthy tanks versus proxy gates. This guy only has two goons and a Reaver. What do you do now? Rush is probably going to push to victory here because there's just no way to engage this army. He has no army. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do here if you're Sins. I mean, you got to get just some Dream Scarabs oh. off. And tank does go down, but it's just too little too late, it looks like. And remember, the, the gateways are proxied out in the center of the map, so he knows that Sins' force is going to be split here, uh, trying to make this flank happen. I can't believe that Rush went for this this move, because if you think about it, he burned both of his scan. Because first off, this is probably the last attack here, because I don't see how this army gets killed. All the goons die. Reaver gets popped, and there it is, GG. But I, I can't believe Rush made that move, because he moved out right after he scanned. It's like, dude, you know this guy has DTs. You don't have energy anymore. What if this guy has another DT? Do you just lose everything? Yeah, I don't... It must have just been some kind of a read man he he must have just realized that hey there's i started moving out there's no dt outside my natural like boom it's got to be a reaver switch like or something i i guess but yeah. either way it ended up being the answer that he needed to to close out this close close series yeah so well done from rush i had hope for sins that he might actually take it especially after he won on game one but the the control versus the zealots and the goons absolutely ridiculous i thought for sure game three was was a loss once he denied that add-on for so long and denied the factory but uh it is what it is sins will be eliminated he played well like this was not what i was expecting but it, they were fun games very well they were very fun games they were very close like down to the wire i as you said this game three i really was convinced sins had it at a certain degree um, but Rush, man, he's just, uh, he, he's just so stoic, right? He's just able to sit there and, and, and endure and thrive and, uh, you know, ended up taking a, a very close series against an incredible player. Getting a look at the bracket again, and our next series coming up will be Cop versus Soma, but with Rush moving on, that sets us up for a potential epic match. If, if Soma was to take down Cop. I don't know if you know this machine, but I remember reading on one of the Korean websites, like Sponbang, which is the, the sponsored matches website. Like in 2022, if I remember correctly, Russian Soma played like 2,000 sponsored games. Did you know that? <laughs> no. And it was like, and it was like 55% to 45%. So it was really close. But yeah, so. I mean, obviously, these two veterans hit each other so many times, yeah. they almost have to be expecting it at that point. Yeah, so uh, if we were to get that matchup, to say there were gonna be there are going to be mind games would be an understatement. There's going to be so many mind games going on. Man, ah, oh, can't wait. I, You know, Soma, one of the, the best Zergs in the world, definitely a player I look to emulate uh, when I play. So any time I, you know, get the chance to, to view his play, especially uh, ZVT, I, you know, try to make the most of it, man. And Cop, uh, you know, I, I, I know he's uh, doing very well, obviously, to have made it this far to the round of 16 in this tournament. Um, going to be, uh, you know, a, a problem here for Soma 
uh, you know, so we can't overlook that match um, because Cop just as easily could uh, take out Soma and, and move on to the round of eight as well. Yeah, and Cop in the round of 32, he played he played well. He took down JYJ and Soxry, so for sure, Cop can take him down, but, you know, uh, it will be rough because Soma, he's such a monster. But that's the it. That's it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to casting again with you, Machine, for Cop versus Soma. Yep, same here, man. See you next time.